Doomsday's Embrace, Surviving the Apocalypse. In the desolate wasteland that was once a bustling metropolis, the skeletal remnants of a civilization now lay in ruins. The zombie apocalypse had ravaged the world, leaving behind an eerie silence broken only by the guttural moans of the undead. Amidst this macabre landscape, a lone survivor named Emily stumbled through the abandoned streets. Her heart pounded in her chest as she scanned her surroundings with a desperate gaze. She had been scavenging for supplies for days, her body weary and her mind tormented by the horrors she had witnessed. As she rounded a corner, her eyes widened in terror. A horde of zombies was shambling towards her, their rotting flesh and vacant eyes sending shivers down her spine. Emily's instincts kicked in, and she turned and ran. She dodged and weaved through the crumbling buildings, her breath coming in ragged gasps. Zombies lurched after her, their claws scraping against the concrete. Emily felt a surge of adrenaline as she pushed her body to its limits. Just when she thought she couldn't run any further, she stumbled upon a dilapidated apartment building. She burst through the front door and slammed it shut behind her. Emily leaned against the door, her chest heaving as she tried to catch her breath. As her heart rate slowed, she realized that she was not alone. A group of other survivors had barricaded themselves inside the building. Emily was greeted with a mixture of relief and suspicion. Among them was a grizzled old man named Frank, a doctor named Sarah, and a young couple, Mark and Lisa. Frank had a shotgun in his hands, while Sarah had a medical bag slung over her shoulder. Emily shared her story with the others, and they listened with rapt attention. They had all lost loved ones to the undead and were desperate to find a way to survive. Together, they decided to pool their resources and fight back against the zombie hordes. They spent the next few days fortifying the building, boarding up windows and securing the entrances. Emily used her knowledge of the city to scout for supplies, while Frank and Sarah attended to the injured. Mark and Lisa brought laughter and hope to the group, reminding them that even in the darkest of times, there was still room for human connection. As days turned into weeks, the bond between the survivors grew stronger. They shared meals, stories, and laughter. They knew that their survival depended on each other, and they were determined to make it through the apocalypse together. One night, as the survivors slept, a group of zombies managed to break into the building. A ferocious battle ensued, the air thick with the stench of gunpowder and the screams of the undead. Emily fought bravely, using a baseball bat to smash the zombies' skulls. Frank fired off round after round from his shotgun, while Sarah tended to the wounded. Mark and Lisa used their agility to outmaneuver the zombies and keep them at bay. In the end, the survivors emerged victorious. They had lost one of their own, but they had also proven that they were not just victims. They were survivors, and they would continue to fight for their lives. As the sun rose over the desolate city, Emily stood on the roof of the apartment building, looking out over the wasteland. The zombie apocalypse had changed her forever. She had lost everything, but she had also found something new a family of survivors who would fight by her side until the very end. Thank you for diving into the spine-chilling mysteries with Chills Unveiled. If you've enjoyed the eerie tales and creepy narratives that send shivers down your spine, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hair-raising content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an unveiling of the unknown. Join the community of thrill seekers and let the darkness unfold. Subscribe now and let the nightmares continue.